Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay. Behind me is a smaller version of the automated garage. As per the request of Nikki the Otter, instead of just cutting off this big garage from the substation, I decided to make a smaller version. This one, as you can see, is made with all small blocks and has already been programmed. So if you go to the Steam Workshop, it will already have all the programming done for you. This has the exact same setup overall, and the function is about the same, but let me adjust the lighting here so I can show you how all the lights actually interact also. A little bit more, maybe a little bit more. Eh, that should do it. Okay, so you have these connectors, you have all the stops, the adjusters. So if you do drive vehicle through here, it should line up perfectly and the connector will turn on. To access, we just hit this terminal. And I'm going to go to info and show your sensor field range. Everything else is already set up. There's your exit sensor and on the other end, is your entrance sensor. It's much larger for entering vehicles, so it can detect the vehicle and turn on your lights ahead of time. As you see, the entire thing lights up. This is your initiate sensor. What it does is it kicks on the unload sensor number one. When you run through this, it turns on unload sensor number two. And that turns on unload sensor number three. As soon as we go through this one, though, everything is going to be engaged. So, in a sense, we want to lock in our trailer or our vehicle in the right position in order to offload all the cargo it has. Once the side pushers get into position, then you'll see your connectors actually drop down. And this is estimated, so you may want to adjust them or the width of them to match whatever trailer or vehicle that you're using. Once everything is offloaded from your vehicle, these will automatically retract, but since we don't have vehicle here, we're just going to have to do this manually. In the event controller, disconnect. I have the unload connector 1, 2, and 3. They are marked with the AND gate. It's cargo filled percent, equal or less than, zero percent. Then, this triggers timer block connector release. But since we don't have that, we're going to just manually click on the timer block connector release. It's set for three second delay, and we'll just hit start and move out of the way. You see the pistons for the connectors retracting, the stop block moving out of the way, and then the pusher arms, of course, retracting and dropping. You may want to take one of the pistons off if it's too tall for you. So there's only one piston for each pusher instead of a height of two. And that's about it. When it turns green, you are good to go. Everything's been offloaded and you can drive away. When you fly through this exit sensor, again, it turns everything back off. Now, I'm going to run this in daylight so you can see a better picture of all the moving components. There, that should do it. Over here, we have our timer blocks. There is an event controller in the center. One small battery, a remote, and of course your antenna so you can connect. Along the sides here, we have a bunch of corner lights, your first sensor, red and black lights that come on to indicate which end or which stage you're in. And then of course you have a piston connected to your connector. That's number three sensor. And so if I run through this again, you'll be able to see the interactions. But first, 
If you want, I have put these conveyor tubes on here so you can easily connect them to a small conveyor system and to any cargo container you really want. Okay, so lights still come on. We initiated. First sensor is up. Second sensor. Third sensor. And we're in play. Here comes our stopper first. Then the pushers. They do go quite high. It was meant to be one block underneath. And your connectors come down. Again, since we don't actually have a trailer or cargo hauler here, we're just going to have to manually override this. Timer block connector release. We'll just trigger it now. And now you can see the connectors retracting, your stopper retracting, and your pushers will eventually retract. Your light has also turned green, meaning that if you wanted to drive away, you could. It's not really going to affect your pushers that much. That's why I put curved corners on them so it doesn't catch the edge. And, as always, thanks for watching. And if you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. I appreciate it.